I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Maganenisa. And with me here today is my family who had an opportunity of sitting down with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres Simono one-on-one. -on -one. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Zama Mashile, and uh, we come from Durban um, in New Germany. Standing next to me is my husband, Mr. Clinton Mashile. How did you first fin find out about Charis Missionary Church? Um, we saw um, YouTube clips of Charis, Mish Charis Missionary Church, um, and we began to watch um, you know, the ministry of the Apostle on YouTube. What are the reasons or challenges that brought you here? When we came, um, it was initially mainly just to seek um, God's opinion over our lives, seeking to hear more of what God is doing in our lives. Um, and we've received a whole lot more than what we initially had thought when we came. Okay, um, so greetings to everyone in the name of Jesus. Um, so we had a vision uh, last year where uh, we, we would see the prophet in dreams most of the time. So last year we had a vision where I was being prayed for by the man of God and uh, the man of God, the Apostle uh, J.B. Makananisa. And then as he was praying for me, I went down to sit down. He came back and he said, why are you sitting down? You should be following me. You should be walking with me as I walk with me. And that dream actually, uh, it concerned me, you know, because I'm like, oh, okay. I know what that means from the biblical point of view. Um, so a couple of days later, my son came to me and he called me by the name of the, the Apostle. He called me, hello, Papa, I'm Fundis Makananisa. And I'm like, uh, that is even worse. So my wife and I decided to speak to the men of God we're currently serving under because we are already ordained in that church uh, in Durban, uh, Kingdom Members International. So now he, he advised us to actually come and seek further counsel from the men of God here and explain the vision, which is already something that we told him today. That's why we actually decided that, no, we have to come and seek God's counsel uh, from the men of God. And you had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andres Simono one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said when you saw him and please confirm it. Um, when we saw the Prophet, uh, the pro Prophet asked me where is my mother and I said that my mother is at home and he, did, he mentioned that my mother is not well and that um, if, if she passes on there would be even more division in our family because she's the glue that holds the family together and I confirm this to be true because in the recent weeks my mother has been suffering um, a, a very painful headache and it would go on for days, may then cut off, go on for days. So we could see that something is seriously wrong and um, he did advise us to, to pray and he did pray with us for my mother. So I thank God for, for locating our situation. Um, and then he also did um, talk to me um, regarding the fact that I'm not working at the moment. He said that it's time for me to go back to work and um, that the depression that's starting to set in with me not being employed um, is also affecting my spiritual life. And um, so he did advise us that, you know what, it's time for me to go back to work. So we thank God and I confirm that to be true as well. And how long have you been unemployed and how has it affected you? Um, I've, I've been unemployed for just over two years now. And, you know, it, initially we embraced it. It was an opportunity to be with the kids and all of that. But I think as time has gone on, it's dragged on longer. And it, financially, we've begun to feel the strain. And so I think that was just getting me down and affecting me emotionally. And um, so, yeah, that's been the difficulty with being unemployed for a longer period. Yeah. And how do you feel that Prophet Andres Simono spoke to you regarding it and then he declared that God is going to bless you with a job? I'm so grateful to God. Um, I'm so grateful. I'm, my hope is increased. My expectation from God is increased. I'm excited to see what God is going to do in our lives. And so what did the Prophet speak to you about? So the Prophet uh, uh, started by saying, uh, so what's happening with this whole issue of church, the whole issue of ministry? Um, and I said, uh, and he, he actually mentioned that he sees me praying and asking God for direction on how to progress forward with starting a church or moving a church. And I confirmed that to be true because I have been, uh, I've received quite a few visions, um, uh, seeing myself 
starting a ministry and we, uh, we've, it's always been in a burden, uh, my wife and I, to actually start a ministry. So I do confirm those words to be true. And um, the other thing he spoke about was, um, he spoke about the, the business thing, that God wants to bless, bless, bless me. He sees me doing some things in business. And I confirm that to be true. I resigned my um, a company that I used to work for close, close to 10 years. I resigned in late 2021 to, to pursue a company, I mean agriculture. So by the grace of God, God has been opening as usual doors for, for us. So that I confirm that to be true. And lastly, he spoke about a curse in my family. Um, he says he sees my, my, my older brother um, who's actually uh, struggling. There are things that he's hiding and he, he, he won't even be comfortable to tell us. And he says this whole thing is emanating from a, care, a generational curse within the family to keep us in polygamous relationship. And also uh, it could be us uh, having children with different partners. And I do confirm that to be true. I come from a family where you hardly have people who, you know, who, who, who remain steady and stay in their marriages. Uh, often people will get married and, married and divorced. And the other thing he mentioned when he was, he was giving us the prophet was that um, by the grace of God, God is breaking that curse uh, through me uh, and, and my wife. Uh, however, the, the curse is going to fight strong, so we must continue praying. So we thank God for that. And you also had an opportunity to have sat and done with the Apostle one on one. I'd love that you also kindly please tell us in details what he said when you saw him and that you please confirm it as well. Okay, from my side, he, he, he did give us both uh, uh, prophetic messages. Uh, what he said to me, he says he sees me holding a Bible. And he sees that actually God has called me and uh, God is wanting to re release me. And that's what he will actually do that. Because the other interesting thing, when we were meeting with uh, the prophet, the prophet said God, uh, he, uh, after he was telling me about the whole thing that God will give us direction, he believed that actually, don't worry, by the time you actually meet the apostle, uh, God will definitely give some di di direction on how to proceed forward. So when we were meeting with the Apostle uh, J.B. Makananisa, he did say that he sees me holding a Bible. He sees that God has called this marriage uh, to actually spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and he said he, he will definitely be praying for us uh, for impartation so we can also be released to do the work of God. Amen. Yeah. And Ma, what did the Apostle say to you? Um, the Apostle spoke about an attack against my life um, and he um, actually mentioned uh, the sickness um, that is in my body where I've had this pain um, in, my, in my abdomen and it's been an unexplained pain and he just um, located the fact that it is an attack against my life um, that has emanated from jealousy from me being from a young age and he did also speak about the fact that with that attack I was not supposed to have children and it's the God it's the grace of God and the love of God that has blessed us with the children that we do have and um, he really encouraged me that God loves me and he prayed for me um, regarding that uh, that pain as well Amen. and so how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andrew Simono? Uh, we are we are actually thankful to the Holy Spirit um, because we've seen that he, he, he's the one who orchestrated everything. This is beyond us. Um, we could have never facilitated this, but it's obviously through, but it's through the grace of God uh, for us we are here. So we are, this has actually built our faith even more. It actually became a faith builder, uh, one just to see the man of God and obviously receive the, the prophetic messages we received, which have become a very boost of, uh, it boosted our, our, our faith and, and encouragement. So. We are thankful to God that we had the, the experience we had and yeah, we want to actually help others to experience the same that we have also experienced. Yeah. And Maha, would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this clip? I would um, encourage somebody to first of all believe in God. That's the first thing that Prophet Andres um, encouraged us about that this whole experience is about seeking Jesus Christ and when you open your heart to Jesus Christ God will minister to your life and that was exactly the truth that we saw in our lives that when we opened our hearts God began to do so much more than we came thinking that he would do. So um, God is really moving at Cherish Missionary Church and um, people must be encouraged to come and seek Jesus Christ and God will use his servants.